Hi, my name is Chris Kubik, and I'm an artist, and I teach creative coding at UC Berkeley, and I'm also a father. So I'm always interested in kits like this one, which help kids learn to program. And this is the AI Module 1S kit from WalesBot. And it's a kit that comes with a programmable brain and a variety of sensors that you can attach to that brain. And you can program this brain so that you can create an intelligent robot that will uh, interact with this environment and respond to that environment and perhaps even evolve based on its experiences in that environment. And so that's the AI part of this kit. Um, and I think it's a pretty neat kit. So in this video, I'm gonna take a look at all the parts that are here in the kit and um, show you how you can program this kit and some of the things that you could build with this kit. Um, and I also wanna talk a little bit about the Enjoy AI competition that the maker of this kit, WalesBot, is sponsoring here in the United States where I am uh, later this year or maybe early next year. And the Enjoy AI competition is for kids ages eight to 12, and it's structured a little like a sports competition where you build a robot that competes in a number of events like fencing or weightlifting or rock climbing. So it's a little like the Olympics, but for robots. And these events have so far happened in 17 different countries around the world and something like 100,000 kids have participated in it. And it's coming, as I said, to the US for the first time, either later this year or early next year. And in future videos, we'll guide you through everything that you need to know to participate in that competition. In other words, train you for those robot Olympics. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and come back if you do end up getting a kit so you'll be ready to participate in that competition. Um, but now let's start by taking a look at what's inside this kit. And primarily there's a bunch of building blocks um, that are made out of a pretty tough and, and what feels like a durable plastic. Those building blocks come in a variety of, of shapes and sizes. Um, some of them are structural and some of them are ornamental. Um, and there's also some gears that you can snap together and some wheels and uh, some tracks that you can add to your wheels to allow your robot to navigate over a, a rougher terrain. Um, but to me, the real star of the show here is the controller. And that controller is a 72 megahertz M3 ARM Cortex processor. And as you can see, it has a number of ports that allow you to connect peripherals using Cat5 cables. And here you can see I've got the two little displays that come with the kit connected. And these displays can output various facial expressions, which I think is pretty neat. The kit also comes with three servo motors, which you can of course use to move your robot around or to turn gears. And it comes with several sensors. There are two touch sensors. There's a five in one grayscale sensor that aids the robot in line following. And there's an infrared sensor. Now, to use these motors or sensors, you're going to have to do a little programming. And to do this, WalesBot has an app which makes writing programs very easy and intuitive. The WalesBot app is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. And here you can see it running on my iPad. Instead of text, it uses color blocks to represent programming syntax in a way that's very similar to MIT's Scratch programming environment, if you've ever seen that. On the left-hand side, you can access various types of programming blocks, which you can drag and drop into the main workspace. So I'll start with something from the event tab. And what that's gonna be is when play button is clicked, this means that when I hit the button on my iPad, the play button on the bottom right-hand corner, the
the robot will respond to that with whatever I program here in the interface, whatever I tell it to do when that play button is clicked. So I'm going to add something from the light and sound menu. And that's going to be a motion screen. Those are those uh, two displays we looked at before. They're going to display the expression big eyes when I press the play button. And as you can see, there's a bunch of other emotions that I could choose here, um, but I'll choose big eyes. And now I'll just turn on the controller and bring my iPad relatively close to it. And when I tap this Bluetooth icon, the program automatically transfers over. And you can hear that the unit just let me know that the program transferred over. And now I'll press the play button and I get the big eyes. So the built-in Bluetooth on the WhalesBot controller is a really wonderful feature that makes transferring code from a, an iPad or an iPhone to the device really painless and quick. But it also means that you can use your phone or tablet to control the WhalesBot. And you can set that up in the programming interface. In the events menu, there are several blocks that relate to phone events. And everything you need to do fairly complex things with your whales bot is, is here in this app in these code blocks. So here you can see there's a slightly more complex program that has an, uh, a loop and that, that loop is gonna run forever. And inside that loop, there's an if then statement that checks to see whether a touch sensor that's connected to the robot has been pressed or not. And if it has been pressed, then the, the eyes are gonna display a surprised expression. If it hasn't, then it'll display the beckoning expression. More advanced programmers can write code in either Python or C. And for younger kids, there's also a physical blocks-based version of those code blocks from the Scratch programming environment that they can actually snap together and create sequences to control their robots that way without any kind of screen at all. So that's the AI module 1S kit from WhalesBot. And as you can see, it gives you pretty much everything you need to get started building intelligent robots. Robots that move around, take in some data from their environment, and then evolve based on that data. Um, you can expand the kit with more parts, more motors, more sensors, and there are new sensors coming out all the time. I think there's a new sound sensor, and apparently there will be a sensor that allows you to communicate to give voice commands to your robot, which I think should be pretty neat. Um, I want to add that this is very much a beginning programming kit. So it's not really designed for running, say, TensorFlow or accessing a ChatGPT API. But if what you're looking for is a kit for kids aged 5 to 15, then this kit is definitely worth a very close look. Um, there's a link to the description in this video where you can buy this kit and another link to find out more about the Enjoy AI competition that I mentioned before. And if you do get a kit, be sure to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be making many more things using this kit. and basically giving you everything you need to get ready for that Enjoy AI competition. Have a great day and hope to see you soon.